Hello everyone, my name is Ismail and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create this column chart which gives you insight into your previous year sales, your same period last year sales based on the selection that you make from this slicer and the monthly sales over here including the YTD column. Now this is extremely easy to create so let's jump on and learn how to create this. Now let me show you the data that I have in my model over here. I have a orders table which basically contains all of the sales information and then I have a calendar table which is connected using my order date field. If you don't know how to create a calendar table, there's a tutorial on my channel. Please check that tutorial out. Let's start by creating a measure here for total sales it's equals to calculate sum of my sales field from my orders table. Simple one. Now let's start by creating a custom table. So to do that, let's go to the home tab and click on enter data over here. Let's call this as time intelligence. And then let's call our column here as periods. And then let's start by defining what are the periods that we want. In this case, I want the year 2020 sales, 2021, 2022. And then I need same period last year followed by the months that I want to display on my column chart. And then the last one over here is YTD because this is something that I want to display towards the end of the table. Now, this is extremely customizable based on your requirements. You can change this the way you want. You can add more things if you'd like to and then pull the sales value against that particular period. And then let's add another column over here called as order. And then let's start by assigning numbers to the months over here. So I'm going to start by 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I have assigned all the numbers here to the months and for YTD I'm going to assign the number 13 over here. For same period last year I will assign the order as 0 and for the years over here I'm going to go negative and say minus 2 minus 3 over here and then I'm going to click on load. So once this is done, let's go back to our data view over here and then let's head over to our time intelligence table, go to periods and sort the column here by order. And now let's start by creating a new measure over here. This is going to be our base measure. So I'm going to call this as custom sales is equals to, let's start with the switch statement and then I'm going to type in true over here. If this is true, comma. On the next line, I'm going to type in my selected value from my time intelligence and order column less than zero, which means that I'm referring to all of the previous years over here. What is it that I want if it is less than zero? I want to calculate my total sales comma where the year from my calendar table is equals to selected value from my time intelligence period column. I'm going to close the bracket here, close the bracket again and then press enter. So let's see if this is working. So let's go back to our visual over here. Let's start by adding in the periods in our X axis and on the Y axis, I'm going to add the custom sales. It says it cannot display the visual. Let's check on the detail. It says that I cannot compare the type integer with the type value of text. So what is happening here is the year in my calendar table is a whole number data type and in my time intelligence field the periods here is a text. So let's quickly change the year to the data type of text. We will see that this has now started to display the results here for the three years and and now let's come back to our custom sales measure and let's start building the measure to display the rest of the periods now. So let's come back over here. Let's add in a comma and on the next line, I'm going to say selected value is equals to, sorry, selected value time intelligence and order is equals to zero, which means that we now want to return the same period last year value comma. Then I want to calculate my total sales comma. I'm going to use the function same period last year and pass in my date column from my calendar table. I'm going to close the bracket here and confirm to this. And now you see that 
at same period last year column has started to appear. So let's quickly add the others as well now. It's also a nice practice to mention in the comments to and quickly understand what that particular DAX function is doing. In this case, I'm going to say previous years and then select the entire thing here and press control backslash so that this line gets commented. And then on the next line over here, I'm going to type in same period last year and comment this as well. And now let's continue with our DAX over here. So now I'm going to calculate the months over here. So I'm going to type in months, control backslash, and then followed by selected value from my order time intelligence and order field is greater than zero. And my selected value from the time intelligence and order field is less than 13 then I want to calculate total sales comma filter I'm going to pass in my calendar table over here comma wherein my month number from my calendar table is equals to max of the orders from my time intelligence table I'm going to close the bracket here once twice and thrice to close the calculate function the last one that is remaining here is the YTD function. So I'm going to say selected, forgot a comma over here. So my selected value, time intelligence order is equals to 13. I want to calculate my total sales, comma, wherein my year from my calendar table is equals to max of year from my calendar table close the bracket once twice cl to close the calculate function and now we have completed the DAX statement over here let's confirm to this code and let's go back to our visual and you see that we've now started to display the previous years same period last year all the months as well as YTD and now let's quickly add a year slicer here and change this visual to a slicer and let me resize this and now if I select the year 2023 also let me turn on the data labels from here and now if I select 2023 I'm able to see the sales here for the year 2023 and notice that I only have the sales data until October 2023 and my YTD column here is populated I have the same period last year as well and all of my months as well and now it's time to change the colors of these bars. So to do that, you will have to create another measure and conditionally format this. So I'm going to create a new measure here. I'm going to call this as format is equals to, we can start by typing in a switch statement again, followed by true comma. My selected value from my time intelligence and order field is equals to zero. Then I want this particular DAX to return a particular hex code. Now, if you want to choose one of the color palettes over here, you can visit the website called coolers.co. They have a lot of different trending color palettes. And then if you like any of the palettes over here, all you can do is select open palette and hover over the colors that you want. For example, this one over here, you can simply click to copy, come back to Power BI, type in the hash followed by the code, close the quotes and then followed by a comma and then type in the next value over here which is selected value so to keep the tutorial short i've just copy pasted the values over here which i had already created and then i'm going to click on confirm so once this is done what i will do is i'm going to click on the chart over here let's head over to the format tab oops i don't have the format tab here i'm going to click on the format tab and then head over to columns and then click on the fx button over here from the drop down select field value and from over here choose the format field that we just created and then click on OK and now you see that our colors have changed now. You can also create the dynamic title over here based on the selection that you make from this slicer. If you don't know how to do that, there's another tutorial on my channel. You can watch that as well. So this is how you can create this dynamic column chart which gives you insight into the sales of your previous years sales for the same period last year and the months including the YTD. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.